What if you want to repeat multiple rows instead of only one row? We can do this with the rows controller. So in the Word document, you just select the three rows you want to repeat. You go to the developer uh, developer item here, and then you click on the rows uh, on the uh, content controller. So now these three rows are grouped together. We will identify this group via this uh, merge field product name. So I'm already going to copy that. And then I'm going to start on the configuration. Oh, let me first save my document. And then let's go to the uh, configuration. So now here, uh, step one is, of course, uploading my document. And then I'm going to continue the configuration. So um, for for creating the config type, I'm just going to use the uh, product name and I'm going to do uh, rows in front of it just to row in front of rows in front of it so now i'm going to select my data source uh, sorry i have to of course create a uh, select the right config type a rows controller select the data source opportunity products the merge fields in this case i want to reuse this merge field so i'm going to leave the uh, remove merge field action set to none um, okay now i'm going to create a child of type single here to fill in the uh, product name uh, product name and then the merge field okay let's already save this so this is not a problem and now i'm going to add all the other fields as well so quantity uh, okay i'm going to add that here the quantity yes and my quantity i'm going to select the quantity it knows it's an, uh, a number and i'm going to say i don't want any uh, decimals because yeah you cannot have half of a product okay next to quantity i have uh, a, a unit price or an item price okay so i'm going to use this one um, then this is going to be my uh, unit price currency formatting Okay, and now next up is the uh, total price. So that's our three, that's data sitting in the three rows separately. Of course, if you want to repeat inner rows um, for another data source, a child data source of this one, not a problem. That's the uh, total price, currency formatting, total price. Okay, now save the server and I'm ready to test this. So what we expect is to see the uh, uh, the three rows uh, repeated two times and indeed that's exactly the result that I'm getting so now I'm getting here my uh, product name the quantity the price and then the uh, total price and if I would have multiple products more products of course it would just keep on repeating these three rows as one uh, as one block of content